Okay, this video is about uh, removing the leather cover from the back seat of a, I'm sorry, from the front seat of a 1970 Cadillac Coupe DeVille. This is the driver's side. As you can see here, through 40 years, the leather is finally cracked, and I took this off and replaced it with one that I had that was in better shape. Ultimately, I want to have the whole car done over. But the mystery about all this, sometimes to some people, is actually removing the leather cover. First of all, the way the seat comes off is you got to get to the side here. You see this hole? There's a stud that comes off. Just pry the star washer off, pull the seat towards you this way. This comes off the stud. Lift it, and the cover will come. The uh, back will come right off. There is a little niche right in here. If you can see, that locks in on the other side. Um, I've already stripped off part of it. The back was removed, as you can see. The cover, if you're familiar with this car, there were screws here and a few other locations. But uh, this is easy enough. This back cover that you see here, this was all held on through here with hog rings. And as you can see, I started the disassembly of this, and you can see the back. Here's the burlap, here's some other material, and we're just going to continue the process. Okay, as you can see right here, there is a uh, hog ring. I used a plier. A vice grip with a hook on it is very good. And you take it, and you just pry it. Now you do that all around wherever you see a hog ring. And continue about. Okay, you're going to run into things like this. And obviously secure the leather on, so... All you would do is get your Phillips head screwdriver, you see it turns, and unscrew it. It's just about out now. Take the screw off, and this panel should just simply remove. It's not in such bad shape as you can see. Boy, three stitches per inch. Okay, we'll take this panel, this cardboard on the side. These here are what hold the buttons in. Who knows how? I don't even know what that is. Well, here's the panel, cardboard, some sew foam. And we have some of these. That's the whole composition of. So here's the open back from the 70. As you can see, we have the S-springs here. We have some felt. Here's the frame. Now we're just going to work on breaking it down more. Disconnect some of these, more of these hog, pin, hog rings over here. And it should start to basically just slip off. You see all this up here? is held on by hog, hog rings. The burlap is in pretty good shape here. This car was taken care of. It's not rotted out. Foam is still pretty flexible. Not perfect, but still flexible. Let's go to it. So our next step is we're going to take off this, this, all these up here using this wrench. You just Stick it underneath. Tighten that a little bit. Just a matter of sticking it, grabbing it, and playing with it until it loosens. You'll see it opening on the end. There you go. And Let's see. All right. 
you got the idea. It's out. So you want to go around the whole perimeter over here. Okay, once you get off all your hog rings, um, you're going to have to, for instance, pull, like, pull this part off over the stud, like so. Okay, uh, there might be some here that you haven't realized. I think I've got them all. Up on top here, there are some like so. There are some hog rings that have uh, one particular section, like for here. There's one hog ring here holding on the foam, and then another hog ring right next to it holding on the leather, as such. So you might run into something like that. But now let's see if we can do the actual disassembly. And get the cover off. One other thing, you have to remove this with a filter. Okay, we're going to turn this upside down and see how the cover comes off. As you can see down here, it appears to be pretty loose. Uh, I'm going to try to position this camera the best I can in order to do what I got to do. This has always been problems. Let's see. Wish me luck. Okay, as you can see, the cover is coming off. But here, I have run into a hog ring. And here, I've run into a hog ring. It's all about cutting the hog rings, people. And also, in here there appears to be a whole bunch of hog rings holding the center part in right here. If you see, right here, there's a metal bar in there. And in order to get that out, we have to loosen all these hog rings across here. I don't know if you saw that, but right here. All of them have to come off. They really built this seat. Yeah, as I said before, they really built these seats. As you see, a whole bunch of them over here I have to take out too. I'm working all along this border with this wire here. They really put seats together back in the day. Now you'd never get work like this, unless you had a ton of cash. So we're going to continue right here. When, with the tool, you have to grab it and twist it out and pull. Okay, the best way to see what you've missed as you're doing this is to take your finger and go along here, which is the opposite side of all those hog rings we're pulling. Ain't it still stuck? Like, for instance, right over here. You're going to have to look on the opposite side to see where the hog ring is. Okay, I just got that hog ring out, and as you can see, the cover is now separating from the foam underneath. You notice that the foam is the same shape, basically, as the cover. There's an indentation in here that goes through in order to make that bold, bold look. That's the part that I was really wondering about. We got more over here, so we got to go inside and... Okay, I want to point out this hog ring right here. I don't know if you can barely see it, but I can't access it through the back. How they did it, I don't know. So the way I look at it is, I'm more I'm concerned about saving this leather cover. The foam foam is going to be replaced, so we're going to attack it from the front over here. I guess that's the only option you have when the back. Okay, I took out all the hidden hog rings, and as you can see, now this panel here lowers down, and. Now we go to the next level and see what happens. Notice the indentation there in the foam? That's what separates the top and the lower panels on this car.